Clowns and acrobats perform risky moves in unconventional terrain. Musicians express their creativity in free fall. Tancred Mallet is a 30-year-old extreme athlete and artist. The Frenchman choreographed this unusual performance out in nature. I think you can mix poetry, artistic world and extreme sports. The way you see it now is sometimes it's a bit too, uh, too uh, you know, uh, oh, we are the best in the world, first time in the world, this guy is a daredevil and so on and so on. Of course, we take a lot of risks, but you can you can have a different approach. We are more focused on on, uh, on having fun. In fact, we get inspired one by each other. In the film Petit Bus Rouge, the artists and athletes toured Europe in a little red bus. Their goal was to do the impossible in spectacular locations. Sometimes they even used the bus roof as a launch pad. I was doing the camera work, so I was uh, filming my, my clown friend, and I remember him being really stressed when he was passing the fence. He, he was, you know, having a strange face, and suddenly he checked where I was, and we had some eye contact, and suddenly he had a big smile on his face while falling down. And this connection was something really, really powerful, you know, a very strong feeling. the artists had to train every day. They had to be well prepared for the risky moves shown in the film. For instance, balancing on a slack line that stretched between two rocky peaks in the Mont Blanc mountain range without a safety net. You have fear, you cannot go without the fear, but, but the goal is to, is to uh, make abstraction of the fear and to focus on only crossing related to the risks. Uh, it's uh, something to keep in mind, it's, it, you are not playing. This time I was feeling peaceful. I think the surrounding was also helping me, all the big mountains, you know, they are, they are so big and so, so here that they, they, they calm yourself down. I was just in my element. I was like feeling in, a, in trance. Five years ago, Malay and his friends began filming their alpine slackline adventures. They had set up their nylon webbing between two high rises in Paris. Tancred Malay has produced three films. On the last two, he collaborated with filmmaker Sebastian Mantas Rosset. Usually they build a storyboard, they go and film what they want, but this time it's completely the opposite. We have an idea, we are completely free of what we want to do, and he comes and captures this freedom and this energy, and this is why he manages to, to, uh, to, uh, to capture the emotion, the real emotion. And what Melee does on camera doesn't leave anyone indifferent. Over the years, he's dreamed up ever new forms of extreme sports. For instance, skydiving from a slack line down into the valley below, as close to the rock face as possible. Sometimes you take risks to provoke some questioning, some questions, you know, on, on how it works, the, the death and the life and everything, but it's not gonna last forever. You know, I reach a, an age where I'm thinking of, uh, of transmitting all my knowledge to maybe some children's and to build up a family. So it's a personal quest and it will have an end. Tancred Mele plans to keep making films, but in the future, his unusual projects will feature less extreme sport and more artistry.